Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Revit Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to generate bar bending schedule in Revit Structures. We also had made earlier videos on this topic, but in today's video, we'll show you how to calculate or include the weight of the reinforcement in the bar bending schedule. So how to add that feature in the Revit Structures, we'll show you that. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, uh, we'll go to the particular properties window and you will have the option of schedules here so as you can see you will have the option of schedules here you can uh, right click on it and create new schedule or you can also go to the structure window and you also have an option of schedule there so we'll show that later so first of all let's go to schedules and just create a new schedule here and we'll select structural rebars so we'll just click on S and after that we'll select our structural rebar so after selecting structural rebar we'll click on OK and after that we'll just uh, select the things which we need like uh, we need the bar diameter and then we need uh, like the hook length so if you press H then you can have the hook length we want hook at end and then we want maximum bar length maximum bar length we have that maximum bar length and we have we want reinforcement volume that's very important reinforcement volume because from that only we'll apply we'll uh, find out the weight by using the formula so now we'll next want the rebar number we'll just uh, select the rebar number and and after that we also want our total bar length so total bar length and after that we want the quantity so let's take the quantity now also we want the weight for adding, adding the weight we will apply a formula for that we need to know the you know density of steel also as you can see the density of steel is around seven eight this lies between this actually so uh, you can take it between uh, seven eight five zero kg per meter cube it's often uh, taken uh, and that value is often taken so you can take uh, your density of steel so the density of steel if it is 7850 kg per meter cube so how to calculate the volume you can you know uh, calculate uh, the uh, you know the weight depending upon the density of your uh, reinforcement but we are taking here 7850 kg per meter cube as uh, the unit weight of your reinforcement steel so uh, now we'll apply a formula and uh, the name will be like it will be weight this is the weight of the reinforcement and the formula will be will apply the reinforcement volume okay and reinforcement volume is in uh, centimeter cube by default so here no, here is, it is in centimeter cube so we'll apply per meter cube so reinforcement volume per one meter cube into so this this actually uh, denotes uh, this divided by one actually denotes if you are using the structural template and if you're using the metric units so this denotes like uh, per one meter cube so into seven eight five zero kg per meter cube so the uh, the final results will be in kg so weight in kg also you can write weight in kilograms and click on ok and after that we'll just uh, we can click on OK and after that we have the reverse schedule as you can see we have the weight we have the quantity and we have also the bar diameter so if you just want to uh, know uh, what are the what is the total you know total weight of reinforcement which we want so how to do that so for that you can uh, change the formatting so in the formatting option uh, you have like bar diameters a different thing so like weight in kg we want here we want here the calculate total so we want the total value we also want the total value of the quantity calculate totals and also we want the uh, total value of our bar length so we'll just include here calculate totals and uh, in the appearance or in the grouping we will just include this tick this option of calculate the grand totals so we'll just click on OK and after that we'll find the total value. So here in this bar bending schedule you can uh, you can observe that you have the bar diameter, the hook length, the maximum bar length, the reinforcement volume, the rebar number and uh, the total bar length in mm, total quantity and total weight in kg. So you'll have you have all these things 
so this particular weight in kg is not included by default in this uh, rebar schedule generated by the rabbit but you can add it using this procedure so this was the question and doubt of many of our students so we have made this video so if you found this video useful please also share with your friends and if you want professional training from us then you can contact in the number which has been given below and you can also register for civil center student club bye bye